we have another example. The formula says EFC1 plus EFC2 is equal E1C1 minus E2C2. This time I'm looking for C2. First, we have to navigate our variable. C2 is on the left side of the equal sign multiplied to EF and C2 is on the right side of the equal sign multiplied to E2. We have to collect all terms which contain C2 on the left side of the equation and everything without C2 has to be moved to the right side of the equal sign. So let's perform the operations. Because EFC1 has no C2, I'm going to move it to the right side of the equation. And because I have E2 and C2 and there is C2, I'm going to move it to the left side of the equation. I'm going to end up with this form. EF C2 plus E2 C2 equals E1 C1 minus EF C1. Take a look. We have C2 in two terms. C2 is multiplied to EF and C2 is also multiplied to E2. We have to factorize C2 from these two terms. In other words, we are going to pull this out on the front of the parentheses. So I have C2, open parentheses, and inside of the parentheses we are going to write everything wherever left from that two terms with EF plus E2. And the right side of the formula is going to stay the same. E1 C1 minus EF C1. Now, because I'm looking for C2, I have to make sure that C2 is going to be alone on the left side. Now, take a look. C2 is multiplied to the parentheses. Remember, anytime there is no any sign, there is always invisible multiplication sign. In order to eliminate multiplication, we said we have to use division. In other words, we are going to divide both sides of this formula by EF plus E2. In other words, by the parentheses. So if EF plus E2. So EF plus E2 will cancel out EF plus E2 on the left side. And I'm going to end up with C2 equals E1 C1 minus EF C1 over EF plus E2. This is my answer.